the results of the of the recent study even surprised us, because uh, surprisingly, it appeared that the state of Europe forest in general, I would like to underline in general, is good. Uh, forest area is growing. Uh, forest uh, woodstock, uh, we call this also biomass, is growing. We have more and more protected forests. Uh, at the same time, forests provide us with uh, uh, the same or even increased amount of wood and other products. This is a general picture. Of course, uh, uh, we deal uh, with uh, forestry, with for sustainable forest management on a national level. There are many, many problems that uh, happened on the local levels. Uh, there are still problems with forest uh, health and uh, vitality. However, also we, we noticed in the, in the, in the report uh, that uh, this uh, that forest condition in, in, in the region at least stopped deteriorating, which was a, a huge fear uh, for, for our predecessors. So I would say that this, these, are, these are main findings. Findings mean, mean that uh, also in, in great extent, thanks to uh, activities of Forest Europe or, or, or MCPFE, as it used to be called before, uh, we started to observe, let's say, first fruits of these activities, and, uh, uh, but this, this should not uh, um, mislead us uh, that the whole job is done. We, each time we have different uh, situation, uh, new, uh, uh, now uh, new challenges uh, appear, they are different uh, than problems and maybe we're able to solve at least some problems uh, our predecessors were dealing with, uh, but uh, uh, life is, is going on and, and, and we have a new one and uh, it's important not to, not to stop when, when, what we, or, or, or to uh, somehow um, uh, consume uh, fruits we, we, we have uh, got so far, uh, but uh, we have to keep the dynamics of the process and uh, we have to look forward and, and uh, further develop the tools and also continue this monitoring to be, to be vigilant and, and to, to, to be aware about, uh, about, about the change of uh, state and uh, of, of forest. Uh, but also to, to be aware about uh, uh, or to, to monitor uh, results of policies that countries uh, implied so far. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, uh, first of all, we have something like uh, one billion hectares of uh, forest in, uh, in the region, uh, which is indeed 25% of uh, global uh, resources. It's a significant, uh, significant figure. However, we have to say that 80% uh, of these resources are located in uh, Russian Federation. Uh, so in the remaining part of the forest Europe, we have 200 million hectares. But this is, this is uh, really a significant uh, resource. And uh, what we may say also that uh, despite uh, uh, forests in the region stand something like 25% uh, of the global total. Uh, these forests uh, deliver much more industrial wood. And what is also more mm, interesting and maybe not known to a broader uh, public, uh, that the region is self-sufficient in terms of wood production. Of course, we have net import, net, net export, but in terms of a total amount, uh, the, the region uh, satisfy, uh, satisfy uh, the needs of, of uh, uh, European society also in terms of wood production. Uh, what is also important is that uh, uh, we call this growing stock, but the amount of wood uh, which, uh, which is growing in, in, in European forests is increasing as well. And uh, in the last year, 20 years, this is the period we cover with our reporting, uh, more than 8 billion cubic uh, meters uh, were added to European forests. And just to, to, to give a kind of, a, put it in, in, the, in, the, in the perspective, this is a total, uh, it is equivalent of a total uh, uh, amount of wood uh, which uh, grows in France, Germany, and Poland. Uh, I think this, this, these are, these are uh, important uh, figures, and I think that should be uh, somehow acknowledged also uh, by, by society. 